there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Pris Lankasa. I'm your chemistry lab technician. You can call me Pris Kano for short. Today's video is on synthesis. My last two videos, we did practical on synthesis and today too is on synthesis. And today we are going to synthesize hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. I have to be um, I have to take my time and pronounce this so that you know I don't make any mistake for my student to laugh at me. Anyway, before I invite my colleague Ima to join me on stage, Efo Felix is here. Efo, 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 Efo. If I have missed you, Efo, how are you? I'm viewer. Oh, viewers, you hear Efo's voice. Efo is here. You know, the last video I did, I mentioned Efo's name and Efo heard it. And now he's here. So after that, we'll do a party, okay? And I'll invite all of you to join me. So Ima, Ima is here. Ima, please come and tell us what you have for us today. Okay, so that's Ima. Wow. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you so much, my boss. <clears throat> as he said, as she said, today's practical is on the synthesis of hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. Now let's look at the application of it before we now move on to the synthesis. Hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride is applied in many cases. One application of it is that it is applied in the DNA crystallization. How does it do that? The positive sphere stabilizes the phosphate group of DNA and this helps in crystallization. All right, now let's now move on to the synthesis. Hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride is synthesized by reacting cobalt 2 hexahydrate with ammonia, ammonium chloride and ammonia in the presence of a catalyst such as activated carbon and an oxidizing reagent such as hydrogen peroxide. Now let's now look at what each of these reagents does in the reaction. Ammonium chloride the reason why we are adding ammonium chloride is that ammonium chloride stabilizes the positive sphere that is formed. You can see the chloride ions here. So that is the reason why we have the ammonium chloride. Now let's now move on to why we add the ammonia. The ammonia here is the ligand. And because it's a ligand, we call it amine. So we have hexa amine. So the ammonia here is the ligand that we see. Then hydrogen peroxide is the oxidizing reagent. The oxidizing reagent in a sense that when you add ammonia to cobalt 3 chloride in the presence of ammonium chloride and activated uh, charcoal, it forms hexaamine cobalt 2 chloride. But we are interested in forming hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. So we now need to oxidize the cobalt 2 chloride to cobalt 3 chloride complex. And that is why we add the hydrogen peroxide. All right, thank you, Ima, for this beautiful presentation. So now that Ima has explained the theory aspect, he's going to perform the practical for us to see. So Ima, come, I have some gloves here for you. Wow, Please beautiful put on gloves. the gloves. All right. And let's get started, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are going to say okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. Wow, golden gloves. Yeah, wear this one too. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. And my fingers are on six. Okay. Yeah, yeah, five right, now. Huh? All right. Okay, so come and stand here so that we start. All right. Um, as usual, we you were measuring. 2.5 grams of ammonium chloride and this is the 2.5 grams of ammonium chloride yes, you can transfer this for me into the beaker yes please and remember we said the ammonium chloride is to stabilize the complex that will be formed now since it's a salt we would like to dissolve it so my lab technician will dissolve that. We have measured about 15 ml of distilled water. Beautiful. All right. So you swell or you stir so everything dissolves, as you can see. 
is completed is all. Now we now have our substrate as usual, and that is cobalt to chloride hexahydrate. This is our cobalt to chloride hexahydrate, and we measured about two grams of it. We made the ammonium chloride excess because we wanted to stabilize it for it. So you add it gradually, oh, okay. then you stir it. Okay. My lab technician will do that. Uh, this is the part I enjoy doing. Ah. Mm -hmm. you add so why do you have to add this gradual? Wonderful. You know, to avoid the splashing or what wasted of it. You add okay. the gradual, then you stay. Okay. Alright. Are you going to wash this part with water? Let's do that. Alright. So we stir till everything dissolves completely. Now we now measure about 0.45 grams of activated charcoal. And the reason for activated charcoal is that activated charcoal acts as one, a catalyst, to aid the formation of cobalt and amine bond. It also, as usual, is an absorbent of color. So I'll be adding it as my lab technician will be stirring. Now the next thing is that we will be taking our mixture to the ice water bath. Ice water bath. And this is our cool ice water bath. Okay. Alright. Now we are now going to add our ligand. And here is the ammonia. We measured 5 ml of ammonia. Kong ammonia, as you can see. So we are adding it gradually and be stirring. Mind you, it's a concentrated base. You didn't tell the viewers why we place this in ice water. All right. Now the reaction needs a low temperature to take place. It's an endothermic reaction, so it needs a low temperature. If not, then our yield will be poor or will have a low yield. Alright. Okay. All right. Now, what we have here, after adding the ammonia to it, what we have here is now hexaamine cobalt to chloride. But we want to synthesize hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. So what do we do? We add an oxidizing reagent and that is a hydrogen peroxide. Now as you are adding the hydrogen peroxide to your mixture, you will see some bubbling, some effervescence, and that is the oxygen gas. Hydrogen peroxide oxidizing the cobalt 2 to cobalt 3 whilst itself is being reduced to oxygen. So this one gradually. Oh, wow. can you see that? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you bring the camera closer so that our viewers can see? All right. So you see the bubbles in there. Drop wise. Wow. Can you see that? Drop wise. You see the oxygen bubbles? Yeah. Yes. And beautiful, beautiful, oh. beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Keep adding. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Wow. So this is just like red dots taking place. Exactly. You see that the color, the red color is showing. Yes. Yes, that is the complex, the hexa amine cobalt three chloride. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Now we stir, then we wait until the fizzing stops. Okay. Now the reason why after here we will have to heat our content, 
And the reason why we are heating the content is to decompose the excess ammonia. Is to decompose the excess ammonia. Now you heat till you see till the pink color fades away, and that's the signal that uh, all is done. All right. The hot plate is already on. It's heating. already on. Yeah. So you might if it is time for us to eat, then you tell me so that we can go there. And eat. All right. So I can still see some bubbles. Yes, until the fizzy stops. Yeah. Then. Wow, water is too chill. Yeah. All right, as you can see, we are now heating our content. Now you heat the content until the pink color fades. And how do you do that? You test with the white paper. Can you see the pink color has faded away? All right, now the next thing is now to cool your mixture in ice bath again. You cool your mixture in ice bath. All right, so we are going to the cooling stage. All right, so now we are cooling our content in ice bath. We are cooling our content in ice bath. All right, you cool it, and this process is where the crystal starts forming. Then, after here, we have to filter. We have to filter, then heat the residue again in dilute ACL. And here we are using 0 0.5. So my lab technician is holding the filter paper for the filtration process. All right, so now we are doing the filtration. Our products is mixed with the activated charcoal. The crystals is mixed with the activated charcoal. Alright, so now the crystals here contain is a mixture of our crystals and charcoal. So we need to do a crystallization. How do you do that? We do that in Kong ACL. But first of all, we have to dilute it in or we have to put it in dilute ACL. And we are measuring 25 mil of 0.5 molar ACL. 0.5 molar ACL. So we are washing the crystals together with the charcoal. All right, so we wash our crystals together with the activated charcoal. Now we are going for heating so that the Crystals will dissolve, uh, will dissolve, leaving the activated charcoal. Okay. All right, so we are doing the root crystal. So we filter hot. We wet, we wet our filter paper. Ready for filtration. Gradually, so that nothing condenses, crystallizes on the filter paper. All right, so as you can see. As you can see, the crystals have started forming. So what you do is that you measure about 15 mil of foam ACL, then pour it into your mixture. As you can see, more crystals are appearing. Then you filter, then dry. All right, so you still 
still sign. That's what you mind is doing. After adding the pong ACL, you still sign. Alright, so we fold up, and as you can see, the crystals are formed here. As you can see, the crystals are formed here. Then we are now going to dry. Wonderful. So, after drying our crystals, this is the end result. Wonderful. That's the color of the hexa amine cobalt three chloride. It's orange in color. So, viewers. That is our crystal. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So, I want to thank Ima for this beautiful practical that he took us to. Ima, thank you very much. And to my cameraman. Mm -hmm. When I say cameraman, then you'll be laughing. <laughs> say, love, thank you so much. My two apples, Apple Solo and Apple Phoenix. Thank you as well. And to all my viewers, thank you so much for watching my videos. We'll see you in our next video. And from here, we have a party. So we are going to start right after this video. So see you. Bye bye. <laughs>